Good afternoon. Hello. It's Pastor Donald Smith. God bless you. We're back again. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Hope your work week is starting off on a good foot. And, and that you're just blessed. Because if you woke up this morning and you are a blessed person. Thank God for that. The Bible lets us know that he daily loads us with benefits. Every day. That means we got brand new blessings. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, today we're going to in our fresh manna golden nugget. First I want to say thank you for uh, coming by, stopping by, and seeing what we're talking about on the, the golden nugget today and from whatever website you're watching from. Uh, thank you. And please, in advance, if you would just leave some comments or maybe a particular topic you'd like for us to address in the future, we'll pray about it and see what the Lord says and go from there. Well, today in our brief nugget uh, presentation, we're going to talk about grace. Grace. Oftentimes, we've heard that word used many in, uh, in many different uh, applications throughout life. Grace. The Bible lets us know that uh, the Lord says His grace is sufficient. Now, what is grace? Grace <clears throat> is God's unmerited favor. It's when we should be punished or we should reap uh, repercussions for a particular act or something we may have said or done. His grace covers that to where we don't receive the, 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 the consequences of our actions. His grace. Now there also is a dual application to grace. The second part of grace is that sometimes we do receive, um, uh, we do have to uh, be accountable for our actions. But His grace covers us or keeps us through the accountability process. His grace is sufficient. Now I'm sure everyone that's watching has done something in their life that they had to, when they, when it was uh, an event has happened or an experience has happened or something has taken place where they, after it was all said and done, they look back and like, wow, I was I was really lucky or or, or you know, wow, I'm glad I didn't, I, you know, I could have died or I could have something bad could have happened to me, such as a car accident where the car went out of control and you could have got thrown from the car and been either severely injured or dead or or any number of fell, an industrial accident or fell off a ladder or any kind of thing like that and where what should have happened didn't happen where you could have been injured or maimed it didn't happen or you were over facing another example we're facing uh, some form of litigation and it looks like everything is going against you and the other side has all their their, their ducks in a row and they have everything lined up and you see like the, the, the judge is going to rule against you or the jury or whatever and for whatever reason the outcome is favorable for you. That's God's grace. Every time death misses us, that's God's grace. Every time we something negative is supposed to happen and it doesn't happen, that's God's grace. And we have to understand what how important grace is. Grace even covers us, the grace of God even covers us when we don't know how to cover ourselves. When we don't even know what to do and when to do and how to do. His grace is sufficient. There's another scripture in the Bible in my conclusion that says don't frustrate the grace of God. <clears throat> now what that means is don't take that grace for granted. Don't take it for granted that well because God loves me and I know he's a gracious God I can just do what I want to do and everything is going to be okay. Or I can just keep playing games or I can keep doing this or doing that and God's grace is long suffering and God's grace will always be there and I can just do these things. No, no, no. The Bible says don't frustrate the grace of God. Don't take advantage of that. We appreciate God's grace. We, uh, we, we love him for it because he's a gracious God and he's willing to extend his hand of grace to us far more than we're willing to receive it in many cases. So with that said, I hope this nugget touched you in some capacity. And let, and let me just share this with you. You may have done something. You may have uh, hurt someone or done something that was not right. or, or I don't know. You may have done something that wasn't right. Thank God for His grace. That even in that, He still covered you. Now His grace, is, is the fact that His grace covered you means there's an opportunity to correct the wrong. Whatever it was, to try to make amends, to try to fix it. You, in God's timing, that means that there's, there's an opportunity for that. In God's timing. In God's timing. In God's timing. I have to underscore that. In God's timing. Well, with that said, I want to say thank you for watching us today. And again, I hope this nugget reached someone's heart. And I pray. 
I pray that you come to know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on a much more intimate level and understand the purpose of His grace and how wonderful it is. Your friend always, Pastor Smith. God